Our breaking news right now, Iran has launched a retaliatory strike against Israel. We know that drones and missiles potentially in the hundreds have been fired from Iran directly into Israel. Some of this video just coming in, most of this showing the interceptions in the sky, the Iron Dome and the air defense system of Israel taking down some of those projectiles. The U.S. also involved in this operation, only in a supporting role right now. We know that the U.S. put in additional assets throughout the region to make sure that we can protect Americans and our assets and installations in that area right now. So this information just coming in, again, no confirmation that any of those projectiles so far have landed, caused any damage or casualties within Israel. But let's go back to our Brit Clenet. She is on the ground in Jerusalem where some of this video has been shot and where some of the air raid sirens uh, were blaring. Brit, I know you had to take shelter for a period of time. Uh, what's the latest? What are you seeing on the ground now? Yeah, unfortunately, uh, we're, we've just got word uh, from the Israelis that a 10-year-old has been critically injured uh, from uh, one of those uh, projectiles in Arad. Now, that's about 35 miles from where I am in Jerusalem. We understand that paramedics are, are treating a 10-year-old boy. Now, it, it's not clear whether he was injured from falling debris or whether that was a direct impact. But obviously, um, you know, there's a huge cause for concern uh, that 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 might have a, an impact on the Israeli response too. If you start seeing civilians being hurt uh, and potential casualties in all of this, then that might be part of the calculation uh, from the Israeli side. Uh, but the IDF is also warning uh, the public that as air raid sirens ring out that they may hear blasts. Uh, the IDF uh, saying that the uh, interceptions are fully operational and that uh, to uh, be aware of loud blasts, that they may uh, hear explosions from interceptions of debris falling. Uh, but, you know, I spoke to Israelis uh, about this, about this threat in the lead up uh, to tonight. And I was kind of taken aback uh, by uh, how relaxed they seemed about it. Some of them were concerned, but by and large uh, that, you know, they said to me, we're used to this threat. We're we're always facing some kind of threat. But, you know, as we've been saying, we're, this is unprecedented and there are fears that we are in uncharted territory and that this could spiral out of control. Just a little earlier, uh, I was seeing flashes in the sky from every single direction and then this kind of thud of Israel's air defense in action uh, every few minutes. Uh, there were a dozen of projectiles, uh, as I say, coming in, um, flashing from all directions, appearing to be rockets, uh, drones and appearing to head west. Now, they were intercepted, as I say, by air defense um, and at the same time there was this air raid siren wailing over Jerusalem where. And you talk about that 10 year old critically injured. That is part of the issue in all of this. Even if Iran says it's targeting a military targets with the barrage of drones and missiles and projectiles that they are sending over Israel, no doubt something could come down. There could be a mistake and there could be casualties to go with it, which would work its way into the calculation and the response from Israel. Brick Clenet for us. Uh, please stand by.